Welcome back to another vlog. I just went to Trader Joe's as you guys saw. Every time I go to Trader Joe's in my vlogs, you guys always ask me to do a haul of what I get. So your wish is my command and I'm about to deliver. So I'm gonna show you everything I got at Trader Joe's. So I have this one huge bag and then another smaller bag. I would say this is pretty realistic to what we normally get at Trader Joe's except this time I bought more stuff for just myself because I was gone for the week. So I didn't need to buy food for two people and normally I always buy food for two people obviously So it's a little bit less than what we would normally have because I try to cook home-cooked meals like every day And we eat out once in a while when we just want something different, but we do eat like a lot at home, too so Trader Joe's is like a huge part of our weekly Thing eggs. I love these eggs We get these pasture-raised large brown eggs they're really good and the yolk on these is like so orange and that's how I learned when eggs are really good like if you get like fresh eggs from like your neighbor type of thing like the yolks are always so colorful and deep and orange versus like a really like light yellow and bland kind of egg so I've learned that those are just better eggs um, we love this slaw it's a broccoli kale slaw salad um, and I'll add like red peppers in here, onions, cranberries, sliced almonds, and avocado, and it's so good, and I loved it, so I got more of this. Oh, by the way, if you guys noticed a different setup in the back, we finally got an air fryer. Um, I haven't used it enough to like really be able to tell you much about it, but I had to like move stuff around because this is huge. It's actually like a big version of an air fryer, and I felt like it made sense to be in this corner. You know, the coffee machine had to go somewhere, so we put it here, and it doesn't actually fit on the other side because there's like an outlet there. So it had to be like on this side. So now it looks a little bit funky, but if you notice something different in the back, that's what it is, I move things around. Anyways, two red peppers that I love putting in my salad. Soups all day, every day. The broccoli cheddar is really good. And I think I also got a chicken noodle one. Yep, classic. I love putting these in my broccoli cheddar soup. They're just cheese. Oven baked cheese. It's literally just like cheese, baked cheese, little round kind of crackers. Gyozas, love these. I actually got them to try them in the air fryer, so let's see how that goes. Blueberries. I got yogurt. I haven't had yogurt in so long and I was craving it. I wanted to try out this vegetable and soba noodle stir fry kit. It looks really good. Tempura cauliflower. Indian food is like my life and I always get this. It's the paneer tiki masala and it's so good. Peanut udon noodle salad. Teriyaki chicken for Lyle. He really likes this and then I'll make some like fresh rice and I'll put white onions in here with the chicken. He really likes that. I got this quinoa. I love this quinoa. It has this nice spice to it. Roasted potatoes, the potato pancakes. They're so good. Garlic spread. I've been getting this literally for like four or five years. I'm obsessed with this dip. I'm so glad they still have it and it's so good. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with these, you guys. Ever since I saw these in the store, I believe they're new, I would go through like two bags. These have been really good for satisfying my cravings. I got a bunch of avocados. I'm not gonna take them out of the bag right now because I also have sweet potatoes and onions in here and I need to like, they're gonna be messy so I have to put them right in the fridge in the drawer. to share with you guys today's sponsor Skillshare thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video I've worked with Skillshare before and I absolutely love the platform Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of creative and inspirational classes for anybody that is interested in learning more about a certain skill or hobby I know you're ready to go out 
and I'm ready to take you out. You just gotta give me a second so I can share my Skillshare journey. <gasps> Say hi, my little teddy bear. I love you too, Obi, I love you too. Tell them why you love Skillshare. Tell them your favorite classes. I first became really interested in trying out Skillshare when I noticed their abundance of classes, and I also love that you could do them on your own time, which is so important to me, especially with my crazy schedule. The class that I've recently been watching is the Ultimate Self-Care Playbook by JVN. I'm gonna have it somewhere here on the screen so you guys can see it as well. This class is so, so good. I personally love JVN. I've recently been introduced to his hair care line. It's so good. And he's just so inspirational, so lovely to listen to. His energy is just amazing and I really, really gravitate towards his energy, his vibe, what he says and I really enjoyed his class. I highly recommend it. Makes you prioritize self-care and whatever that means to you, it's different for everybody. A great reminder to take care of ourselves and to prioritize ourselves and our mental health. If you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, I think Skillshare is the perfect place to start. It can make your 2022 a year of new growth and learning and creativity and inspiration and just all these good things that I personally in my life find so valuable and important. And if you guys also are interested in trying it out, the first thousand viewers that either click the link in my description or use my code Gargana Ivanova, which I'm gonna have somewhere here on the screen, you'll get your first month trial Skillshare for free. So yeah, I wanted to share that little snippet with you guys and Prince, as you can tell, was really bugging me. I just got back from Trader Joe's. I did a quick on haul for you guys, unpacked, did all that. Um, I had to run downstairs and run a quick errand and I came back and he's like literally ready to go out. The only problem was literally a torrential downpour and now it looks like the sun is coming back out but I'm worried that it's like muddy outside. So I'm gonna wait at least like, I don't know, like if you can wait like 15 more minutes or something. I think I'm gonna go to the gym right after I take him out. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to the gym right after I take him out, then I'm gonna do work. Prince literally went to the groomers. I love his little paws. And you know you're cute. Don't give me a side eye. Look at that face. He knows. He knows. There's no doubt. He knows he's so darn adorable. I love him so much. about to put the dishes away the dishwasher is done and I have a meditation class at 7 it's 6 away right now so I'm gonna go to that in a little bit first I'm going to eat feed Prince, unload the dishwasher probably do a little bit of work on my phone oh, shit to post ooh there's apparently a new moon which is why we're doing this meditation right now I just got back from 
the meditation session I told you guys about earlier and I have to say like I just feel so good right now like I'm so happy I went I do try to prioritize self-care mental care doing things that make me happy make me feel more clear help ground me help refocus me and that's definitely something that does meditating and being around the right people the right energies we wrote down on a piece of paper the things we want to let go of and the things we want to do more of or keep more of or become and we burn the pieces of paper and it was just like like emotional watching it burn but anyways i'm about to shower right now and then i'm gonna probably do an unboxing for you guys because i got a lot of packages in So I just finished showering and then i quickly went through all of the packages and some of the stuff i can't show you guys yet I'm thinking of doing a little haul on these in the next video, potentially. I don't think I'm going to do it now. But some of the other stuff that came in um, is this bikini set where the bottom's right here. How cute is this? It's a zebra print bikini set. It's from Same Swim. So thank you to Same Swim. Um, I love the little beading, the turquoise beads in the center. Are so cute. I'm really excited to wear this. And then from them as well is this one piece that's actually really cool. So it's like a chain detail right there. It's kind of hard to visualize unless you see it on, but it pretty much wraps around. Oh, Prince knows how it works. How does it work, buddy? Yeah, show YouTube how you would wear it. Okay, all right, you're done. From Caudalie, we got this situation going on. And then we got the Vinyl Perfect Serum, Radiant Serum, wait, Radiant Serum, so two of the same product and then the gua sha and then i got a bunch of these bracelets and i'm actually really excited when oh, i got an anklet i ordered these myself um i'll have them linked down below but i got these bracelets that i think are gonna be so cute in different colors for like a beach vibe beach look turquoise white yeah pretty much a bunch of these i'll link them down below and then i got the mason margella replica fragrance this is when the rain stops. I think this is a travel size, I believe. Prince, you know, you seem like you know all of this information. Um, I think this is a travel size, but I love all of the replica fragrances. And then L'Oreal sent, whoa, watch out, buddy. <laughs> Be careful. L'Oreal sent me like a bunch of these like lip glosses, lipsticks, the whole shebang. I'm really excited to try these out. Lip and cheek tint. Ooh, and I love this mascara. Honestly, I've been using this mascara, I don't know, middle school, since high school, I don't know. Oh, long ass time. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. It's so good. Okay, my phone's like going off right now. These are Ultra Lane. Okay, so we have a little skinny brown vibe. Oh, these are cute, I like these as well. I feel like these are actually a little bit too wide on my head. I feel like these are really wide, I have to tighten them. I got these shoes in as well, but I will be actually sharing those in the upcoming vlog. So I'm not going to talk about them now, but I think that's pretty much it. And then a bunch of these pieces as well. So a bunch of that. Um, I'm going to be shooting this soon, so you're going to see that. But yeah, I think that's it for now. I'm going to put all this stuff away, make dinner, and then watch Married at First Sight. I kind of got hooked on it on Netflix, and I'm going to do some work on my laptop have it out here with me and yeah. Good morning fam. I am off to Beach Pilates right now. It's Saturday morning and I'm really excited because the weather is so nice today and I'm ready to do Pilates on the beach. I feel like it's gonna be really hot and I'm probably gonna get really awkward tan lines. But you know, I'm excited to check this off my bucket list. I don't think I've done Pilates on the beach. I've done Pilates with an ocean view, but not Pilates on the beach. So I'm really excited about that. It, the class is in like literally 20 minutes and it says I'm gonna be like a little bit late, but nothing ever starts on time. I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't eaten breakfast yet, but I like working out. If I work out in the morning, I like it to be on an empty stomach. I had like a little bit of my smoothie that I put in the fridge from yesterday because it was just too much for me. I had a little bit of that. And that, like I swear, just fills you up. I don't know what they put in that smoothie, but it is heavy. So I'm not even hungry. I'm just like thirsty. So I'm going to like drink a lot of water before this class because it's going to be outside. It's supposed to be outside. Unless it's shaded. I'm not actually sure. We'll see. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be...
be so peaceful and nice and relaxing and a nice good sweaty workout and I'm excited for that. It's a great way to start my weekend. To print out for like an hour this morning to play. Then I got ready and then I left. workout literally kicked my ass i just got back and let me tell you the workout itself wasn't that challenging because i've done it before i've done like that kind of pilates class and it's a great workout but it's doable like i've, I've done it i'm used to it however the heat outside it felt like i was in a fucking sauna like the sweat the heat the sun the headache i was already getting a migraine like i couldn't keep up with like being hydrated i was drinking water it just wasn't enough so yeah i'm glad i did it i got to experience it i definitely prefer working out in an ac room i think that's the vibe i want to go for moving forward but it's gorgeous outside so i figured i'm just gonna quickly grab prints i'm gonna freshen up later because i'm gonna get sweaty anyways i'm gonna grab them and go on a nice long walk i found this trail that i always like to like look up places and trails and places where we can walk prints that we haven't been before because it gives us a reason to like go explore more um so i found this one i've never been to so we're gonna go test it out i didn't have coffee yet today so i also made myself some coffee literally wearing the same thing as earlier This trail is actually so nice because it's really empty and like peaceful and quiet and like oh there's like a little lake over there that's really cute it is a little weird because there's a street on this side I don't think the whole trail is like that according to the photos so we'll see are you tired buddy I have the seats literally blowing cold air for him so he can cool down from our little walk and he wants to be in my hot lap Princey, go over there go go Anyways, that walk was amazing. I think it was like two and a half miles. I literally just chugged a bunch of water. We're charging her up, getting her ready for our little drive back home. But I really wanted to go to Starbucks. The closest Starbucks is inside this mall. And I don't feel like doing a mall situation. That takes a lot of energy. I'm not mentally prepared to go in the mall right now. Every time I come to charge my car, at any Tesla station. It's just Teslas everywhere. And low key, it's really nice because you feel like you're a part of a family. And everybody kind of like sometimes talks to you and has conversations while they charge their car. And it's really like vibey, I'm not gonna lie. Hi fam, I just got back and I'm gonna rush and get in the shower so I can freshen up. It's been like the longest day ever. Feels like the longest day ever, but I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. As always, everything is linked down in the description below. 